Hi, it's Jason with more insights and strategy. Quite interesting conversation this week with an executive at Microsoft that I thought I'd share an insight from that I found to be very powerful. It was about agent and agent development, particularly Copilot Studio. And what he shared with me was that the areas where we're seeing the fastest adoption and most success with agent-based development is with low-code development teams, people who used other low-code platforms in the past. For example, Microsoft's very own Power Platform. He says that the development model is very similar Similar. And the idea of low code, which had a lot to do with assembling pieces together, snippets of code or, or services or widgets and bringing them together and putting them into a final composed application seems to be more powerful and more understandable to somebody working in the world of agents than maybe some of the more classic development approaches. It's a pretty interesting concept. And if you're thinking about getting started with agents and you have a team of people working with these types of low code technologies already, maybe that's the right team to help you out as you get started. The other thing that was very interesting about that comment was the notion of how security is applied in low code platforms and how that translates fairly well over to agentic platforms. And I'm not necessarily sure if that's true. I'm actually pretty sure it's true in the Microsoft world because there's so many concepts that carry over between the Microsoft technologies. I do still think you probably need someone to work very closely hand in hand with their cybersecurity team to make sure that the agents are behaving in a predictable way and we don't start to introduce new threats into the application environment in this sense. But again, very interesting observation. I do see some absolute parallels there. So something to look at for you.